<laughs> Damascus blade. Look at this beauty. I hope what I wanted is in this package. I'll explain here in a minute. This is coming in from Max Ace Knives. I ordered it directly from them. It actually came really, really fast. Uh, but I'm a little nervous about what's actually in here. Uh, oh yeah, welcome to Edge Mindset. My name's Carter. Got another video for you. I had to say that, had to say it. So here's the deal. Uh, I ordered this and I was distracted. And so I ordered the wrong one. I ordered a lesser version than what I wanted. And so I sent an email, sent a message. Hey, can you swap it out for the other one? They said, sure. They sent me an invoice for the additional cost. Supposedly it should be taken care of. Uh, but we shall see. This is interesting packaging. This is my first Max Ace Knives. And I gotta say, this is different than what I expected. It's very generic. It looks like I'm opening up like a pharmaceutical sample or something like that. Uh, very heavy. This is very heavy. So we got some information here. What is this? What is this? Congratulations. Oh, thank you. So proud. You got some information here. So that's cool. I'm glad I got something though. So that's awesome. We got a zippered pouch here with a busted zipper on the side. That's all very fixed. It is the correct one. It is the correct one. That is good. This is the one that I wanted and uh, ultimately paid for. This is the Medusa 2.0 with the steel frame in the Damascus inlays. <laughs> Damascus blade. Look at this beauty. This Damascus looks way better in person. That looks really, really cool. I'm not sure what kind of Damascus that is, uh, but I like the smoothness of the etched part and then the brightness of the layers there. That is really, really cool. Nice and tight fit. Let's take a look at the back here. That is really, really cool. I'm assuming that's a titanium pocket clip. Although, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's titanium. Um, it almost looks like it's zirconium, but they would have said it was zirconium. Kind of getting some weird fogginess on here. This was just barely delivered like two minutes ago. It's freezing outside, so this thing is cold. So the Medusa 2.0 has been out for a little while. This version, however, has the steel frame, stainless steel frame. So it is hefty. Let's get a weight on that just, just for fun to see what we're dealing with. Uh, I'm guessing, what am I going to guess? What uh, Eight ounces. No. I'm going to say, no, it's more than that. Ten ounces. 8.6. So it's closer to start with. I should have stuck with my own, uh, own original prediction there. Uh, really like this kind of sawtooth on the top here. So there's no, no major design cha changes that I'm aware of with the steel frame version. I believe it is just the Medusa 2.0 with a steel frame instead of an aluminum frame. Can't wait to spend some more time with this thing. Really get to know it. See how it feels. Give my opinion on it. Uh, so far it looks pretty cool. These inlays are super cool. Only thing that would make them cooler if they were Zirkutai instead of just Damascus. But still, very, very cool. Fire's nice and, nice and smooth. I've heard some people say that the Medusa like blows Microtex out of the water in terms of uh, tolerances and how smooth it is. First impression, not really seeing that. Uh, seems very similar. Has about the same amount of blade play, same amount of button play for the most part. Feels pretty similar. I'm going to have to compare it side by side and see if the action is any better or anything like that. But uh, so far, it doesn't seem to be all that different. But very cool piece. Uh, but what I will say is if you were to get this in a Microtech with a Damascus blade, stainless steel flame, Damascus inlays, uh, you're probably looking at five, five grand, six grand, somewhere around there, depending. So very, very cool. Let me know down below. What do you think of the Medusa 2.0? Do you have experience with it? Do you think this is pretty cool? 
Uh, I did notice that they moved the branding onto the frame and off of the blade. That is one of the things that turned me off from the Medusa from the beginning is they had branding right here and it just looked really out of place and really awful. Compound grind right there. Nice. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Medusa 2.0 steel frame.